Hello, this video is going to show you how to give permission to your line manager to see your course portfolio site on Old Student Net. Remember, Old Student Net uh, is still available for staff only and you will be prompted to log in. When you get there, you're going to look for your course site. So if I go to Humanities and Health as an example and choose Foundation Studies, I'll just give that a click. This will take us to the School of Foundation Studies and on the left hand side we should see eventually a list of all the courses that exist on Old Student Net. Each one of them has an e-portfolio available for the course details. You can see them here underneath each of the site names. Um, so for example we have Employability and Personal Development Certificate and there is the portfolio that belongs to that. If we go down to Life Skills Certificate and choose its portfolio, it opens up the portfolio site and this is where you need to be allocating permission to those people that need to see it. That includes your line manager, probably your head of faculty and also Barbara Unwin. So if we go to Site Actions just in the top right hand corner and we choose Site Settings. You'll then find a whole load of options but you're looking for Advanced Permissions just on the left here under Users and Permissions. Advanced Permissions. Give that a click and you'll then see who already has permission to see the site. Presumably your name will be there otherwise you wouldn't be able to do this. You want to click New, drop it down and Add Users. And what you want to do then is type in the people that need to see this site. So if I uh, paste in a couple of people um, that may require access to this. So we have Colin Shaw and we have Barbara Unwin. I'm going to click the little uh, check names icon, little person here. If you have typed their names incorrectly and the system has recognised them, they will become underlined. If not, then you have to remove what you typed and try again. You then also want to give these people permissions for this site and the permissions you want to give them is contribute. You then scroll down to the bottom and click OK. What you will then see is their names added to the list of people that have permission on the site and that's you, you've done it.